Hey guys, what's up? What we are doing a pep, my most hated. Um, I don't know what it is about these big version update, but he is ridiculous. Um, and the reason why he's ridiculous is because he has a move that if he, if you do not have disease on him, he grants ninety-seven thousand health. He just heals himself. So it's super annoying, it's hard to deal with, and that's why this guy has been the biggest portion of this update for Apep. The fact that he provides disease, where is it? There we go. While Bull Rage is active, attacks inflict disease on targets for two turns, can't be resisted. Which is awesome, <laughs> because it's needed. He's almost on every team, except for the fast teams, I think that Actually, yeah, still at the top. Dozer, 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 dozer. You need it. That disease is awesome. Um, I don't have Embla, so this is not super easy mode. Um, and if I'm going to be, I'm going to do 15. Actually, no. Let me show you 16 first. 16 is harder. Um, I can't use this guy. I need to use her. Let's go over her moves. Attacks all enemies. Okay, you know what? Let's go S1. Attacks one enemy, damage 20%. Attack 5.5 for max HP. So I have a fully on HP. Spells one debuff on Kaharu, gains recovery. So this is perfect for Apep, who just puts millions of debuffs on you anyway. Um, and you gain a recovery. So next, attacks one enemy, damage on 30%. Attacks 10% of max HP. Flicks disease, which is another great thing. And Seer, awesome. Seer, obviously 25% damage taken. If Ka <coughs> Kaharu has Kagura Dance, he heals all allies 8%, so healing is always good. Uh, we have Prayer's Dance, attacks all enemies, damage 30% attack, 5% max HP, which honestly is kind of low. 75% chance to inflict attack down, grants all allies Kagura Dance, and Kagura Dance is damage dealt, and healing received 10%. So basically you're getting healing and you're doing more damage, so kind of reminds me of the fire dance from uh, uh, what was that, Demon Slayer? Yeah. Anyway, let's do this. So, 16, I might fail. Uh, I failed it a lot. Um, it's specifically because my Clara is not skilled up at all, she has zero skill ups. Which is cool, because she can still do it. Um, of course, she's doing her Sailor Moon thing. Um, I forgot what that Panther girl, Panther Mommy. <laughs> but she obviously is providing a lot of benefit by taking off the debuffs every single turn. Um, and of course, everyone is Inferno. Dislight and Lilith Gaming is really trying to push the elements. Because it really didn't matter po uh, pre-update. You know, you could just use whatever and you'd still get by. Now elemental boon really matters. And I also don't see that word anymore. Everyone to your positions. We're just going to watch Clara as she gives everyone some immunity and Kagura dance on the field. Alright, so let's see here. Yeah, it's weird that the enemies before the boss are actually Inferno. It's like they want to whittle you down before the round even starts. If I fail this, I'm just going to show you 15, and we're going to be done with it. Because this only works sometimes. Which is good. Because sometimes if you're really stressing on getting a, uh, um, a relic you need, you can do some 16 sometimes, have some fails, but still get your flawless uh, relic. Now, on my alt account, I have a Clara that's fully skilled and can do this just fine. This is the only thing my other account is better at than this account, because this is my main. I think it's because of the healing. She can heal a lot more or, you know, more consistently pull her S3. Of course, putting the freaking poison stacks. No poison stacks. Weird. As you see, the disease on the field... But no defense break. This needs defense break. 
if you don't get defense break on Apep, you're doing no damage to him. So we might lose. The fact, the fact that we don't see a defense break yet is the reason why we might lose. Okay, so we see a defense break. That means Sander can hit his big move with Kagura Dance. Which you're doing more damage and you're receiving better healing. Uh, Sander's still alive. Everyone's holding on by a thread. We need him to hit his S3. Alright. It's an S3. Got some Seer. Things are looking kind of okay, but I think everyone's dead now. No. Still barely holding on for the video. Alright, come on, man. Come on. We got some healing. Yes. Alright, truthfully, if everyone dies, Dozer can finish it. I think. If it's at least 10% of the health, Dozer can do it. But this is looking great for the video, and, and if they do that, I'm not doing it again. <laughs> yes. So the extra damage the Seer um, from Kagura Dance makes it a lot easier. So, of course, you see, victory, yay, for 16. But this isn't what I actually use. I go to 15, because it's still giving me flawless. And I take her out, and I sub her in for Stuart. Stuart built with crit damage, attack, attack. Crit damage, attack, attack. Oh, speed, I should switch this to attack. But uh, since he's still infernal, and he does an explosion amount of damage, 350. It's a multiplier on there. It's one of the highest in the game. The only other person who has that, like not even guys has that explosion. The only other person that has that is Bryn. I don't know if you guys knew that. It's not even that high, it's only 300. I thought that was the highest, but I guess Stuart is. It's the most multiplier that you can even see. So like all these characters that we know are strong. Mm, let's go to damage. Yeah, see like, He's attacking fast. I still don't know why guys does so much damage. <laughs> but, uh, it's probably his passive God King. Um, let's take someone who does a lot of damage. Ophelia. So this is still only 270. 270. You know? So anyway, I use him just because he can do massive amount of damage. We're going to do a Blitz. We don't want to. I don't really want to watch the whole thing because we're hitting. We're past the five minute mark that I was trying to keep this at. But I leave this for my ten. A couple fails in there, but usually gets the job done. It's much faster, a lower turn amount. If you can see, like seventy five turns. So like eighty percent. I hope this helped you. But uh, just to give you an idea, she is a must, and Sander is a must. AP pushback and dozer must <laughs> so those three you need but if you don't have any of them you need him the it's this disease every single time he attacks doesn't matter what move he uses is what kind of kills apep and of course the defense down helps you go faster hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll think of what next videos i want to do i want to do a temporal tower video but i, I kind of don't know how i want to present it Maybe I'll do like the hardest levels. Um, and yeah, that's it. See you guys later.